The Peninsula Jewish Community Center in Foster City, California has just completed a mural on a wall 12 feet by 130 feet. This is a look into how this dream was brought to reality. The magic happens all along. This, you know, it's all always constantly building. This is the end result of months and months of workshop and thinking and studying and sketching and teamwork. It's exhilarating and it's challenging and but it's also beautiful. We decided to uh, build a garden in our courtyard out of a desire to grow organic produce that would feed the hungry of our community. The idea of the mural came as a secondary thought, as a way of beautifying the space. And not only beautifying the space, but sanctifying the space. We wanted the mural to address the issue of justice, which was at the very heart of our garden project. We were told that there was this extraordinary artist who could serve as our artist in residence here uh, over a period of a couple of months. Drawing, the simplest, bare bones part of art is the most important. Because for me, that is the connection to the divine. I call it dancing with God. At the very beginning, uh, Jay came to the community and we planned a whole series of workshops. Self-selecting groups of maybe 20 people or 25 people would come together and they would work with Jay on designing what would ultimately become the mural. Gathering with people, seeing them create at all different ages and all different steps of my creative process is fabulous to me. In some areas, it actually has saved lives, saved communities. It's pretty extraordinary. Painting with everybody is actually the payoff of this whole process. Everyone is enjoying the experience. They want to come back over and over again. They want to paint with their family and friends. And they will remember this experience for a long time to come. We have 28 groups scheduled to paint over the next 10 days. How high can you reach? Can you reach up by there? You want sky blue. Oh, I feel wonderful. This is the first time I paint in my life. Yeah, I and I think I like it's it. fun. Wow, I'm painting on a wall. It's like, right, that's okay. it's not often at home I get to do this. It was really fun and I got to be really creative because I got to work with my friends at the same time doing work. I painted light blue and I painted a carrot. We wanted the mural really to be a representation of the core, our core belief that we ought to live in the world with justice and righteousness and that we ought to do whatever we can to change the world for the better, to repair the world. Justice is basically fair treatment for everybody. Justice basically kind of means freedom and liberty and to have your own right. And One of the meanings of justice is dignity for all persons. This wall celebrates and reminds us about social justice, about making a difference in the world. We have four sections. The first one, which we'll be helping with today, is environmental stewardship. Each one has a warning of something that could be really terrible if we as people don't do the right thing. And there's also a message of hope and inspiration. My name is Blaise DePaulo. I am a college professor. I teach art at Morgan State University, and I am a longtime ceramic artist. I'm a ceramic sculptor. When Jay was working on this mural, he thought it would be very exciting to mix ceramic with the painting. It's the, the look of weathered rock or weathered stone that I really love, and these particular glazes really do that for me. Well, art is the expression of the human soul. 
And that's what this is. I mean, this uh, mural and its artistic elements are an expression of the Jewish soul. And that's what we celebrate. What makes this space extraordinarily sacred is the mural we have been looking at and talking about for the last number of moments. There are doves carrying a talit with tzitzit in the corner. There is the rabbi with her ear to the ground using the shofar to listen to the earth speak. There are people growing food and making justice well up like vegetables out of the land. When we act for the betterment of humanity, God is always close to us. in the message that we're giving, like, Don't get me. very okay, environmental, Let's like I feel I want to do something to change the world next. I've been blessed to be in a process where the art has actually touched people and places and made a difference. There's nothing greater in Judaism than that to make a positive difference using the skills that you've been given and strengthening them to strengthen others. Mm -hmm.